This is for my, uh, this is my grandmother's. Oh, wow. Thank I was, uh, I was really, I wanted to get a bolo and she had a, a great collection of turquoise. And this was actually a brooch. And so I said, hey, grandma, do you have any, do you have any turquoise that I could have? Uh, and she gave me this piece and I turned it into a bolo. I'm Tyler Rogers uh, from Kraken Technologies and I lead business development here in North America. The Kraken, the, the, the brief history here is we were born about eight years ago in the United Kingdom. Uh, sought, we sought to disrupt uh, the energy space and, and that market uh, and also help launch uh, Octopus Energy as a retailer there as sort of a disruptor. Kraken's ethos is to sort of disrupt the status quo. And so the story has been growing outside of the UK and Europe into Asia and Australia. And now we're bringing that story into this market because we feel like we have enough credentials and strength of that story uh, to enter this massive market. And part of the reason we're really excited about North America is because we are hyper-focused on decarbonization and there's not really a bigger market in the world if you're focused on that. And so we're really excited to help utilities in this space of the world transform the way that they're thinking to help accelerate decarbonization. Kraken has been born uh, in environments where competitive retail energy choice is common. Uh, and so the biggest change is coming into North America is just a different market construct because the utilities here as you know, are largely vertically integrated. And so we're having to take a lot of what we've learned ab abroad uh, and apply the, the, the use cases around running a distribution network. It's different when a gas leak is happening. And so part of what's fun of, of, of what Kraken is doing is taking the ability to change really quickly. We have a fundamentally different way in which technology enables to change and apply that method into the change that's required here. Uh, and so it's sort of a two-way street. It's really the fun part of my job, which is bring all these lessons learned globally into this market, but then also help Kraken uh, adopt and learn to what this market needs. I think what I'm most excited about for ETS 24 is the, the collection of industry thought leaders that you guys are able to amass in, in a small forum. Um, conferences are a great opportunity to learn and hear conversations um, and what ETS does really well is gather a really great voices uh, but also in a fairly uh, small forum. And literally right before we walked in the room too what really excited me was seeing uh, the engagement of younger hearts and minds with the university program, because uh, it's essential and it's really exciting to see some of the innovations happening at that level and the fact that ETS is connecting those dots, I think is really special. The start of my why goes back to when I was a kid uh, and I was a Boy Scout and the ethos that was taught to me through that experience was always leave the campsite better than you found it. Uh, and that is an ethos that has guided me on my own professional journey. Uh, and so I apply that uh, into the experience uh, of energy. And I think energy is the, the, the topic of our time that we have to solve to leave our world in a better spot. And that, that may sound cheesy, um, but that has guided me uh, throughout my career and what excites me about what Kraken is doing. Well, I hope that you are all wearing bolo ties uh, at ETS 2054. Um, I hope that the message uh, that the folks in 2054 feel like uh, that they've been set up for success, uh, that a trajectory, uh, that change had to happen now and that we act on that change. We can't wait any longer. Uh, and I think what's really fundamental for this industry is to tap into the ethos that we have lived of solving really big problems. And I hope back in, in, in ETS 2054 that they look at this moment to say, those folks rose to the occasion to solve the problem then and set them up for success. Yeah, I mean, as, as a father, um, I absolutely have to be encouraged by the next generation. And I have uh, nieces and nephews too, that are younger. 
And I think it's very easy for the older generation to find flaws in a younger generation. And I think there's something just natural about that. But I think as I get older myself, I think there's always this balance of taking what the younger generation is learning in their lived experience and not discounting it. And so I'm an optimist. Uh, I'm always the glass is half full. And so absolutely, um, I'm excited for what the future generation will challenge us. Then they better be open to be challenged as well by us that are a little bit older.